crafty friends this is Teresa from fresh and renewed with Teresa welcome back to my channel and today we are going to put together four quick cards using some sketches and using some doodlebug paper I'll talk about that as I go on and using a brand new honeybee stamp so and some dies two stamps and some dies so, um, let's get started. I'm going to move three of these out of the way, and I'm going to put the cards together as I talk to you about the paper and about the stamps and maybe some other things. So, um, let's get three of them moved out of the way. I pre-cut and pre-colored everything, and so let's get started. So, for the first sketch... I am using Mojo Monday Sketch 521, and as you'll see, I'm going to follow most of these sketches very closely, except for this one. I'm not going to make this into just a partial banner. I'm going to I'm going to take it all the way across. So, and I'm not going to um, put my cards on a card base yet. So. Let's, sorry for my reach, let's get started and I'm going to get some glue off the top of this. Alrighty, so I hope this video doesn't go too long. If it does go too long, I'll step back and punt and, and put it on a Um, on a voiceover. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. Except I'm going to put it straight. And I am not putting my cards on card bases today because I need to cut card bases. And it's kind of late. I'm getting this video getting this video done pretty late today. So all right. So I've got that there and I'm going to put this here. And then I've got my two um sprigs I'm going to put those right there. I'm, I want to make sure everything kind of, kind of, um, goes, goes okay. There we go. All right. So as I'm putting this together, I'm going to talk about the paper. Um, if you have watched my channel, if you watch my sheet loads, you know that I am a huge Doodlebug fan. And last year, I purchased a whole lot of um, the collection Night Before Christmas. It was last year's 2020's Doodlebug collection. Well, I didn't get to use it at all. Um, it came pretty late and, and I just, I just didn't have time to use it. So I am going to be using it this Christmas for sure. And, um, so I thought I'd take it out and use it for this for now. And I'm going to be using it in several videos. So if you get sick of it, I'm sorry. If you get sick of it, let me know and let me know. I'd like to see some more, some different pattern paper. So I just, okay, I'm going to glue this on first. So I can um, know where to put my glue on my vellum circle. So that it won't show because I do wish they would make a vellum glue that wouldn't uh, both liquid and um, 
liquid and um, dry that, that wouldn't show. That would be super wonderful. Okay, so we've got this one down here. Okay, and that looks very crooked. But you know what? There's nothing I can do about it right now. So, and I will come back when I'm all done and pull out some embellishments, some gems. I have some gems to put on here, some honeybee gems. Okay, so I chose the sentiment, have a very nice holiday. And I color, this is the mouse stamp from Honeybee Stamps. I will link all these products below. Now, you know that I am affiliated with Jamie from Not Too Shabby Shops. I have an affiliate link. I design for her. I'm on her design team. And for most everything, I would link to her, but she sold out of this stamp. But the, the, the sentiments and dies and the dies for this stamp are still there. So I'll link everything that I can to Jamie shop and then what I can't to Jamie shop, I will link it somewhere else. So this is card number one. And I always put a strip or something inside the card. So I'm going to put this with it and that will go and we'll, we'll bring it back in just a minute. And I'll show you as we put our card bases. Well, I mean, our gems. Okay, so this sketch, I had never, never heard of this company. I looked on Pinterest today for some sketches that I haven't used before. So this is from doll, D-A-H-L, housedesigns.com. And it's sketch number 12. And it was a very simple sketch. So I thought, okay, let's, let's, do, let's do a couple of simple ones. Actually, this is... This, this one, that one didn't prove to be too bad, but this one is very simple. So I've got some of the, I've got the six by six pa pattern paper from the Not Night Before Christmas collection. And I will, tr if I can link that down below, I definitely will. Now you're gonna wonder why in the world did I use a blue circle? There are some tiny blue um, ornaments on these Christmas trees. And I colored part of my um, presents on the mice blue. So, um, you know, I was kind of going off all the different colors in the paper. So, um, let me know in the description box down below how many Christmas cards you will make and have you started making them yet? Um, I have to have 230 just for my nursing home donations. And then I have about um, about between 50 and 60 that I give out personally. Maybe a little more. I either give them out or I mail them. I don't mail all of them. I have some that I do give out because I see the people and I don't know their addresses. So, okay. So I chose the no peeking sentiment for this card. See how simple that was? Quick, easy. So that is that sketch. And then we have this one. This one, this sketch was pro is probably the most complicated sketch. Well, no, the this one and the next one, I, I would say. They, and not complicated, it's just they've got a lot of pieces. So, so we have the border that's going across, and I think I made it 
I made it an inch instead of a half inch. No, no, it's not an inch. It's I made it three quarters of an inch instead of a half inch. So I did alter that sketch. Okay, so there we go there. And then I chose this piece for the center. I love, 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 love pattern paper. Also tell me in the description box down below, are you a pattern paper person? And I may have asked this question before. I am a pattern paper hoarder. <laughs> I'm trying to use it. I'm trying. Okay, so we have this. I got, I did a green circle to go with the green trees and to go with the hat on my little mouse. Okay. So then I have the little mouse in the stocking and I colored my images up with my Ohuhu markers when I when I color on the couch, when I'm watching TV with my husband, I uh, keep my Ohuhu markers on my side of the couch, on the floor, over in the, kind of in the corner. And um, so I color with those um, when I am in there. Now, when I color in here, which I don't do very very often and I should do more um, I color with my Copic markers but um, my Copic markers wouldn't there's they're in two buckets so they wouldn't fit over there by the couch okay so there we go there's that one and this sketch I'm sorry I didn't let you know this sketch is from cards TV and I love it when sketches have measurements on them. I'm not real good at doing that. And then I have my little banner for the inside. And onto the last one. This is, was my favorite image to color. And I'm going to use Mojo Sketch 544. And I colored the little mice mouse peeking out of the um, coffee cup. I think I got my sentiments backwards. I think I was going to put no peeking on that one or the, or the, um, the stocking one since they were both peeking out, but <laughs> there was kind of a reason also that they kind of, it kind of ended, I think I changed my mind at the last minute that they changed, that they, it ended up with the presence my daughter, my middle daughter, is a peeker. She always was, and she always will be. And she can look at a dang Christmas present, and she can tell you right when she looks at it. She can pick it up and touch the package, and she can tell you what it, what it is. I mean, it's like crazy. So... I found out after she was grown that she used to go in and very methodically open presents, peek inside, and then wrap them back. Because her younger sister is a um, always kept mama informed. <laughs> We have so much fun in our house when when the kids were little. And we have lots of fun when everybody's together, but that's not very often anymore. Okay, so I chose on this sketch to eliminate the circle because I felt like that this little mouse was fine, just not on a circle. So... So he's gonna go on here.
right there on the, and I know that looks, I, I mean, it look, it's cut the, the exact right, right dimensions, but I don't know. It doesn't really look like it, does it? So anyhow, I love making Christmas cards and I'm so, so thankful that I'm able to do this series this year. Okay, so here's my little piece to go inside my card and then my sketch and my card. And this video is already getting too long, so I will just, I'll, I'll embellish them a little bit later. So there's card number four, card number four. Three. Card number two. I love these cards. They turned out so cute. And card number one. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.